going to head to the Masson Broadcast booth now and welcome in our colleague Joe Angel, who was kind enough to walk down the hall from the WBAL Orioles Radio Network booth. And Joe, let's first start with Jeremy Guthrie in this matchup tonight. Everybody who follows the Orioles knows he's the hard luck pitcher. How is it that a guy can continue to go to the mound and try not to think of that? <laughs> well, actually, it's impossible, but I think Jeremy Guthrie, uh, he's been around long enough to, to know that there's nothing he can do about that. All he can do is go out and do what he does, let the hitters try and do their their jobs and when they combine the two Jeremy Guthrie has a real good chance to wind up in the win column and Guthrie's pitched uh, very well so far this year he's lost a game three nothing he lost a game three to one yeah the run support again has not been there but again Guthrie there's nothing he can do about that all he can do is work on the Red Sox hitters who by the way that Red Sox lineup tonight collectively against Jeremy Guthrie have hit over 300 so Guthrie's going to be tested tonight. You know, Joey, you look at this uh, Oriole offensive line from the very start of the of the season with the Orioles, the first seven games, we thought this offense was really going to put this organization in the hunt. But it seems like even though we've added so much right-handed power in here with Lee Guerrero, Reynolds, and J.J. Hardy, it really hasn't showed up at this point right now. Your impressions of that? Well, uh... You know, Buck Showalter keeps uh, referring to the fact that these guys have track records. They've done it in the past. So all you can do is be patient. Buck has yet to alter the lineup. And he's not going to do that anytime soon. And it's difficult, too, because now tonight uh, they go against right-hander Josh Beckett, who uh, has been nasty so far this season. I think Beckett is on a mission. He had an off year last year. He was injured. Uh, this year he's become a much better pitcher. He's uh, gotten into better pitcher's counts. He's throwing more strikes. That enables him to use change-ups uh, more often he's done that and that's why he's been so dominant I think Beckett right now has got the lowest opponents batting average against in the American League he's fifth in ERA so he's nasty he's been nasty he's going to be nasty tonight I think Guthrie and the Orioles are going to have to be at their best Joe Jim Johnson was developed in the Orioles farm system as a starting pitcher and when he came to the big leagues it was as a reliever because of a need and he's been a reliever ever since and we saw last night he has that starter kind of stuff when he has that kind of stuff going he could be one of the best back of the bullpen relievers even though the debate is always going to be there you know maybe someday they ought to rethink this and make this guy a starter well you know Jim Johnson's an amazing story because he does have enough pitches and enough stuff to be a starting pitcher and yet you see him come out of the bullpen like he did last night Night. I mean, he threw the heck out of that ball last night, had a great changeup, had great movement. He had four strikeouts in two innings. He could be a closer. Now, they tried that a couple years ago in uh, 2009. I think it was like 10 for 16 in save opportunities. So he's got the stuff to do whatever he wants to do. It's just a matter of getting to that point. I know that Buck is, uh, feels real good about the fact that he can go to Jim Johnson in the seventh and eighth innings and get the game to the closure. And these days, uh, that's what the game is all about. But Johnson last night, he was fun to watch. All right, Joe, we appreciate the visit. Hey, don't be a stranger. Never. <laughs> okay. Hey, Demper's doing some Boston baseball tonight, huh? Uh, that's what the rumor is. That Joe Angel. I'd love to, to be able to watch. I'd love to be able to watch that. 